All right, so we're gonna add some support for our feet down here. When we fold up this guy like this, that's gonna be the bottom of the feet. This is upside down. But we wanna add a little bit more support right here. So we're gonna glue a little bit here, a little bit here, paste this here, and then let it dry for about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. Got ourselves some Elmer's glue. You don't need a whole lot of this, but you do want to get it on everywhere. So I do a little bit there, a little bit there. I'm just going to take this extra piece and smear that on. This is hard to see. We've got white on white, but we've got a nice smooth layer right there. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm just going to attach that right there. We'll let that hold. We'll let that guy sit. We're just going to go ahead and do that three more times the other legs. And while that dries, I'm going to let that sit for a good 10 minutes. We're just going to do something to kind of weigh down each section. It doesn't have to be too heavy. Anything that you've got that'll just kind of help weigh each panel down. And just let that sit for about 10 minutes. All right, so once you've had about 10 minutes for your glue to dry, you can go ahead and take whatever weight you had off. You should be able to jiggle this. Don't push too hard, but it shouldn't move on its own. You're gonna have four small pieces of tape, you know, about that long, ready. And we're just gonna go ahead and start gluing together our flaps. And this shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. So what you're gonna end up doing is folding your feet in and folding them over. And if you see here, only one part right there, that is resting on the edge. This side is over the edge. So that's what you want. You'll need a small bead of glue. You don't need a whole lot. So we're gonna go ahead and take our Elmer's glue. I'm just gonna run a small bead right here all the way down. We'll go ahead and do that for the other side too. Get both sides done at the same time. Grab our piece of tape right on the inside right there and that's just going to help hold it in place while the glue sets and that looks good go ahead and do it to the other half and let's go ahead and do it to the other side and while we've got this here we're going to run another bead of glue right along the inside. Now after part, that part's been done, go ahead and flip this over so that it's up. Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. If everything's going well, you should have a box that looks kind of like this. This is going to be the bottom of your creeper. Amusingly enough, it's also going to contain the brain. Legs should support themselves pretty nicely now. Yeah, that's about it. This is just kind of the underlayment of your EV3 creeper. It's going to get covered in duct tape or paint, depending on how you want to go. So if it looks kind of ugly at this point, don't worry about it. Especially this section, it won't even be visible from the outside. And if it looks awesome, rock on.